Good day mga Kabayantechers, this is Sir Kabayantech and today we are going to run an online diagnostic run by Apple at home. But before we begin, help my channel grow, click on the subscribe button and for those returning subscribers, kindly click the like button. Thank you very much. Normally for the phone, if we want to run diagnostics on it, we either call Apple support or we go to the Apple store. If we want to run diagnostics by our own, we need a few criteria for us to run it. One, this is only available in the US. Two, you need to have another phone, not necessarily an iPhone. Three is you have to be connected to the internet. And four, you have to have a ready available cable for you to run those diagnostics. So, so another requirement would be for the iPhone, you need to have at least iOS 17. If you are running a Mac, then that would be a Mac Sonoma 14.1. So most probably these are the 2019s or 2020 and the M1s are the silicone ones. My location is in Canada and normally you will say it doesn't work for you. What I did is I turn on my VPN. I do have a VPN service that I'm paying for. Next is I go on to this address, but not just going into this address itself, but you go on to private browsing. It will think that you are in the US because my VPN now is directed to the US. Once you put this one in and it says that you are not supported in this area, make sure that if you have a VPN, you are using a private browser. So let's start with a private browser and refresh it. And then we're going to go on to this part. It will ask you if you want to test an iPhone or a Mac. I'm going to use an iPhone. This will ask the serial number of this device. Currently right now, this one, we're going to turn it off. Take out the charger. Let it sit for like 5 to 10 seconds to fully shut down. And then plug it again and then press the volume up and volume down at the same time. When the Apple logo shows up, I usually count 10 to 15 seconds before I release it. And then I let it run by itself. So it goes to diagnostic and repair. We need the serial number for this one. So once you press the I button, it will show up the information and then you put it here and then you do the start session here. And then you also do the start session onto the phone itself. It will ask where, which network you want to connect. It doesn't really matter if your network or your Wi-Fi is VPN or not. Let me just connect. So once I connect to my uh, Wi-Fi network, this phone or this session will be catched by this one. So when we go on to agree, then it says it's a 12 mini. And then on this phone, it will say initiating. And then here are all the suites that you can run. You have MRI, which is the basic test that in the Apple store that they will run. Audio output, if you have issues with sound. This one is Pixel. Uh, pixel anomalies if there are issues with your display similar to this one multi-touch if you have issues with the touch itself and face id and camera image quality usually what i test is face id and also mri from so let's begin the diagnostics here this will usually take one to two minutes depending on your network and also the vpn speed The result will be given out on the phone that you are using to run the test. So this one, it says on this date during the duration. So the issues that we have is one, the battery condition is already in service. It's in degraded mode. The display here, it says that the customer had the screen replaced through third party. And in, in this case, it doesn't mean that you have an original or a replacement one. The only time that you will know is if you actually open it up. And then next one would be software here. It says that there is a, a newer software that came out, which is 17.3. And then cellular RF, this has something to do with the sensors when it comes to signal. Now, from this result, you could uh, give the customer on what to expect. So at least if, for example, they just wanted to go through with just a back glass or a display replacement or a battery replacement, it protects you on your end because if you run the diagnostics again and it's the same result that comes out, it means that those are the issues that are existing before the repair and at least it covers you. Then what I do is either do a print if I can, then I do a screenshot of, of my screen and I forward it to their number or to their email so that at least it, it protects me at the end. And then if we want to end the session, so all you have to do is end testing and then click on the power button and then you could exit now. And then on this software here on your left side, you know, you need to do end session. And if you want to run another diagnostic, then you could do continue. And that's it. If you have any other requests or any reviews of tools that you want me to do, kindly write them down below. And if you like this video, kindly click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, take some time and click that subscribe button. Again, thank you very much and have a good day.